I'm Bruce Edgerly from Backcountry Access. I'm going to talk about the Float 32 today. The Float 32 is our full featured backcountry pack for carrying the full gamut of backcountry gear. Like all of our newer packs, the mudroom is accessed with the red zipper. As you can see, I've got a shovel probe and an ice axe in here. The mudroom this is a great way for you to isolate any kind of wet equipment from the equipment in your main compartment that you want to keep dry. Really nice feature about this pack this year is it'll fit a lot more torso sizes. We have an adjustable waist belt here. There's Velcro back here and, and webbing tying it into the frame. We have a small, medium, and large size torso. So this will fit a wide range of both men and women. You see that we have waist belt pockets on the waist belt and, and gear loops for carrying Climbing gear for setting anchors and glacier travel. Shoulder straps are also fully adjustable. You'll see that inside you can move the trigger up and down depending on how tall or short you are. You want that trigger to be right in the area where you can grab it easiest. All adjustable and on the other side you can put hydration or our BC Link radio. The BC Link radio is ideal for backcountry skiing and snowmobiling because all the controls are right there on what we call the smart mic. If you don't have a BC Link, you can run your hydration tube through the other sleeve and they're swappable. You can have your trigger or your hydration or radio on either side. New this year, our compression straps double as snowboard and ski carrying straps. So you just need to undo them and bring them back around the front carry a snowboard vertically and to carry skis vertically you just put the skis down the side A-frame style like you would any other hack. We do not recommend carrying your skis A-frame style in avalanche terrain. Once you're into avalanche terrain you don't want your skis vertically on your pack because they could interfere with the deployment of the airbag. The way that you would carry your skis if you were in any kind of avalanche terrain would be with our diagonal system. If you're carrying a helmet the helmet carry also is diagonal. If your skis are going diagonal this way, the helmet carry loops are actually off to the side of your skis. This is our fleece lined goggle pocket, so you can stash a pair of goggles in there while you're touring and not scratch the lenses. And then let's talk about our ice axe carry loops. The head goes in here with the pick inside the flaps, and then your spike goes in these two there is if you're carrying short technical axes. With a longer alpine style axe, you put it in the opposite way. With the head up here and the spike comes out this hole in the bottom. So it can't get in the way of the airbag if that ever needs to be deployed. All float airbags now have a dedicated sewn in leg strap that goes from your waist belt through your crotch back into your waist belt to protect yourself from losing the pack when the airbag deploys. It also prevents your sternum strap from choking you if the bag rides up on you if you deploy the airbag. Here's a nice little detail on the Float 32, our third zipper. Notice how there's three zips here and if these two are all the way up at the top where they'd normally be, you can still get into the bottom of the pack by opening the third zipper. Those are the main features of our new Float 32. It's a full-on backcountry touring pack with all the features you'd need for a full day out in the backcountry. And it's much more ergonomic and adjustable than our previous Float 32 with ski and snowboard vertical carry systems.